Hey everybody, Mono Weezum here, Monday, December 8th, 2014. Just recorded the poll battle videos for uh, Winterfest Lobstar vs. Jolly Bumble Blast and Snapshot vs. Lobstar. I was about to go edit those, get them uploaded, and then I remembered I saw him sitting over here on the pool table, something that I have needed to do for quite some time. This goes back, I think, to September, uh, possibly October, I don't know. Uh, I picked this little guy up, Green Metallic Shroom Boom. I had a horrible experience um, with the Toys R Us. It's, one, it's not a low one it's one I happened to be at at the time and uh, they wouldn't sell that guy to me I had to get him elsewhere but uh, that's not the problem either it had to do with the management and just oh it was a, a Grinch basically worked there and I think the woman has no business being in management of anything let alone other people or a store uh, that's it that's another story another day doesn't really tie in here the thing that I did buy that day uh, was actually right here in my hand um, Again, I put off showcasing it because it's Christmas related. I'm the type of person, I don't like to see like Christmas trees in stores in September and October. You know, I kind of like to let there be a natural progression of Halloween, uh, you know, and then Thanksgiving and then Christmas. I'm all for Christmas. I like seeing it. I enjoy the festive nature of the season and everything, but... Just not in September, you know, so I kind of put it off and I kind of forgot about it. I meant to do it before Thanksgiving. Uh, I was out of town then and then I forgot. And then, like I said, I just looked over and saw him sitting there. So what I'm going to do here is tease it. Um, obviously, if you didn't guess, it is a Skylanders Christmas ornament. What Skylanders Christmas ornament, you may ask? I have never seen one. I think they have made them in the past. But I never found any anywhere. I didn't spend a lot of time looking, but uh, I did skim everything. They usually have like that Christmas ornament section at Toys R Us, you know. But uh, this is it. There's the base. There's the feet. Some of you may know. It looks, looks a little hot on that iceberg. Some red and yellow. And that's because it's hot dog. And uh, it is a hot dog Christmas ornament. Obviously, if you're a fan of hot dogs, this is something you will want to pick up. Uh, if hot dog's your favorite Skylander, if you know someone whose it is, makes a great gift. Sadly, you might want to give it to them early, uh, just so they can enjoy it, display it. Uh, the thing that I think is the best feature here, obviously, it's intended to hang on a Christmas tree. Um, it's fairly hefty. It's heavier than a Skylander, but it's not going to be like, you know, break your... Christmas tree branch heavy uh, but what I think was one of the greatest design features is this is a flush base uh, it's designed to look like an iceberg I guess with like a snow cap or something but uh, it's not like spherical you know where you can't just stand him down and he's gonna fall it's actually flat um, got a little bit of space here so if somebody doesn't have a Christmas tree or if they think that's so awesome they want it on their desk uh, or, you know, on their nightstand or wherever people may put these things, it is simple to do so because it's a flat base. The figure itself actually looks amazing. The reason for that, it's scaled up ever so slightly from a regular Skylander, uh, so they could be, I guess, a little bit more intricate. I paid, I think, $7.99 for it. I don't know for sure. It's been a while. Um... I don't really know where all you could buy this. I would assume all the stores would have it in like their specialty areas. I don't know if Hallmark has it, but probably you know, Walmart and Target. I don't know how common it is. I don't know if it's super rare or anything. I, I would not give more than 10 bucks for this thing ever under any circumstance. At that point in time, you know, you're getting, and especially the people that go out and would spend scalper money on this, like $25, $35. That's stupid i'm just gonna straight up tell you save your money buy two winterfest lobsters or something you know do something productive not you know blow your money on a christmas ornament you know um that's it i mean i guess some hot dog fans might do it but i would advise against it uh be content with what you have and uh take it from there oh was that julio with the touchdown yep all right that was awesome news so uh, anyway, I need to get back to the game, so I need to finish this video. This is what I think the Christmas ornament was based on, was his Series 1 pose. Obviously, the orange base indicates Skylanders Giants. Hot Dog then returned in Swap Force with the Firebone Hot Dog, which, again, I think should have been a light core, but we won't go into that here. Um, right here, though, you can kind of see, I mean, just based on the facial features and uh, just holding it in place here, this one is just, I mean, scaled up very, very subtly, but it is noticeable when you have them Side by side a little bit heavier than uh, the actual Skylander not by much but um, 
the extra, I guess, you know, volume or space of the character actually allowed them to do a great job on the detail. He's got a bright spot here, which I think is awesome. Uh, the yellow on his uh, paws is way, way more vibrant. Um, this would have been an early hot dog, you know, like launch day, and that's like a very pale yellow everywhere on this guy. Uh, really his eyes I guess are the brightest, but this is a super uh, vibrant yellow it pops It's almost more like the thorns on camo back there, which you can see him behind blue metallic teraphin But uh, right there uh, great detail something else. I really like I know this is the tail But that almost looks like an insignia of the fire element, which is you know very cool in my opinion I uh, don't know if that was intentional or not I assume it is because it's so close to it you could almost imagine like a series 3 igniter with a big shield having a fire logo like that um, that said my absolute favorite design detail on here pay attention to the collar you got the fire element logo just like we did with uh, the regular uh, hot dog down there but check out the band on the hat. I actually call it a hat collar now uh, because it's actually silver, just like his collar. It's spiked. I mean, it's got like raised areas. You can actually put your finger down and it kind of makes a depression. I think you can see that. Um, and the coolness there, the cool factor, if you will, is continued into the little ball on his hat, which is also uh, kind of done up in that chrome silver with the spikes. So very, very cool stuff there. Um, Again, if you don't have a tree or you can't hang it on the tree because the tree's fancy or has family ornaments or something, perfect solution. This is a flat base. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's like perfectly flat, and that means you can put it on a table, nightstand, dresser, shelving, whatever you've got, and it'll sit there. It's not like going to be a ball or a spherical ornament where it just falls off and breaks, and you're like, man, that sucks. <laughs> you know. Uh, so very well done. I think that may be a sticker, um, but if it is, I don't think it's going to come off anytime soon. Uh, great overlay, no bubbles or anything in it. But uh, 7.99-ish, I think. Again, if you find that in Anywhere not Toys R Us, you'll probably pick it up for a dollar or two less, so that's the good news. I've never seen this in the past. I don't know if this is the first year for it. Uh, I've checked, like I said, previous years. I've never seen any Skylanders ornaments. I assumed they had them because they do that, you know, for pretty much anything popular. Somebody will put out a Christmas ornament for them. Uh, I don't know if there's others. Again, this was in September. I assume I was probably one of the first people to see it at the store. <laughs> and, uh, I just went ahead and took it and uh, figured I'd make a video on it later. But uh, if you like it, if you're a big hot dog fan, if your kids or someone you know is a hot dog fan or collects Christmas ornaments or so anything whatever the logic may be uh be sure to look for this guy it'd be a nice addition to the collection again don't pay crazy money for it my advice you know cap it maybe at like 9.99 that's what this guy cost and uh he's playable in the game this guy is not he's basically a dedicated display piece if you will and a seasonal one at that so factor that in uh just don't go crazy with your money again you can get jolly bumble blast and winterfest lobstar for 30 bucks instead of an ornament so keep that in mind but again uh, christmas hot dog chili dog i don't know what to call them uh, <laughs> If you come up with anything, let me know. I'll just go with Christmas hot dog for now. But uh, pretty cool little deal. I'll probably get this tag off of them. Um, I don't have anything to cut it with right now. And uh, I'll do that. I'll probably just kind of, you know, set them out on the pool table or something. Have them displayed somewhere. So um, that said, thanks so much for watching. Uh, my personal site is oneofweasem.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Uh, check out the Skylander Club forum if you have not. Skylanderclub.com, it'll take you straight to the forum. Check it out. If you like what you see, sign up. We would absolutely love to have you. Uh, that said, for myself and Christmas Ornament Hot Dog, we will catch you back here next time.